All right, y'all. It's 5.30 a.m. Let's get ready for the day. I know, I know, I know that you drunk. Yeah. Tell me what you want after this close. You know I get nasty. Oh, nasty. I'll Uber out of my house and call the taxi. Bro, I just did the same thing twice, two days in a row, the same thing, twice. I don't forget my Apple Watch charger. I don't forget my Apple Watch at the crib, and I had to put it on the charger early this morning because I forgot to put it on the charger last night. So I had to leave it at the crib. That's twice. If anybody know me, y'all know I love my Apple Watch more than anything because it's connected to everything I do, moving, exercising, all that stuff, and I'm big on that. So, so I'm a little frustrated. I ain't gonna let it ruin my day. I ain't gonna let it ruin my workout, but still. Damn, dog. All right, y'all, I'm done. Thank you to my sister. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got one. I have a love-hate relationship with leg day. It's not one of my favorite things to do, but either way we go, we gotta get shit done. So let's get this leg day going. And just a heads up, I take it light when I'm doing like box squats or any type of squats like this because of my right knee, so I don't really lift like that, like heavy, heavy when I'm doing something like this. But you'll see me like do like barbells or dumbbells and stuff like that, but you won't, not like dumbbells, but you won't see me do something like this. I won't put like three, five hundred, four hundred on. I can max stuff like that, but I do it one rep. Other than that, I do light reps in order to see how I can like lift as heavy as possible. But in this case, you'll see me do something light and I slowly go up to probably about like 205 uh, at max when I'm doing reps. But other than that, let's get this leg good. <laughs> another day done um, working out like I said I hate leg day I hate leg day but I had to get it done get it in get it out get it done I wasn't gonna complain about it my only problem is like I'm trying to get used to this elliptical because at right now I can't really run because of an injury I went to urgent care for my foot well my toe actually and I end up injuring it end up being a sprain now that I'm training for this uh, training for this 5k and then all of a sudden now my foot get hurting and it make me mad but i'm not gonna trip about it they said i can still do the elliptical to uh still keep my cardio and everything up so i'm gonna do that um i'm a little disappointed in that but still i'm gonna just get it done the elliptical don't really cause for you to bend your foot like that so i'm straight in that area so i can still get cardio done burn things burn my calories and everything that i need move how i'm supposed to move keep that heart rate going keep it strong and everything at my age but it's still a little disappointing but because i was really getting used to running and i really did like running but um i'm not gonna complain about it too much i'm gonna just keep things going and keep it as it is so now it's time for me to get to my little daughter and make her way to school yeah, you are. Yes, I'm big. Yes, I'm big. Yeah, you're big, girl. I want a piece of meat, Reese. She's standing back, come meet me. At the line, I'm on Peace Street. You know I'm pulling up BP. Yo, when you have a kid, it's really important. If you're taking them to daycare, it's really important where you take them to daycare. You just can't take them to any daycare just because it's close in distance. Oh, it's close to the crib or something like that. It's close to my house. Um, you can't take them like anywhere just to go anywhere just to put them in daycare and stuff like that or to put them in school or something like that. It's really important to check out everything that they offer so you can make sure that not only what they growing into on a daily basis, you gotta make sure what when you come back to the crib, they still keep that mindset. All right, y'all, so T went to go get our hat done real quick. And what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna try to keep the, be a romantic guy and do something on some real sneaky type stuff. So I know where she's at right now. Me and T got our keys with each other. Like we, she keep the keys to my Jeep, I keep the keys to her ride. So what I'm about to do is 
I'm about to go and get some flowers, some candy, and then get her a small little gift real quick. And then I'm gonna put them in her car. And so by the time she does get out and she's done with everything, I can then go and leave out and then she'll know once she get inside of the car. It might tweak her out at the same time because I haven't done nothing inside her car in a long time. So she might tweak out like, what the hell is this? But then at the same time, she'll get the concept like, oh, I know it was my husband. But I'm just trying to keep things going. Sometimes you just gotta do some spontaneous things for my wife just to let her know like, yeah, you the woman for me. All right, y'all, end results. It didn't work out to how I wanted it to work, but it still worked out in its favor though. Still got her flowers. Still got her beautiful flowers. This one got her flowers too. And she got her uh, her kitty, her kitty gift over there. So, worked out. Surprise one. That at my favorite spot in the world. At home. I get overwhelmed looking at this stuff because I'm excited for Halloween. Yes. You excited? Yeah. Look at this stuff. Like you can't beat that. What? You can't beat that. Huh? That's it. This is all I got to pick out. We should have came during the summertime. Come on, Chubby. All right, y'all, even though I'm ready for Halloween season, they already got Halloween stuff that's already put out here already. And it's almost gone already, like almost gone. I thought since it's the end of the summer, fall stuff will already be out, but in this case, no. Now I'm a little salty right now. Good part about that is at least we get a two for two because we're looking for Avi's bed here. Do you like that color or do you want something different? This one. Look at that. Real nice for a little three year old. Do you want do you want fairy? Yeah. This one right here is spot on like theme of our crib. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I get excited for stuff like this. This is stuff that I get excited for because the more that you add into your crib, the more fire your house is going to look. How can you not want to fire a house? Whether you have company over or not, like, bro, I got to have a fire crib. And stuff like this, having nice decor in your crib makes me happy. What's good, y'all? Good morning, good afternoon. Whenever you're watching this, good evening. What's up, man? Welcome back to me. All right, today we headed downtown Chicago to the the food. We're headed to the Chicago Food Depository. That's where we headed. This is where you do a lot of giving back. It's like you can help out with fundraisers. You can give back to your community all by packing food for the less fortunate and for those that are homeless. So last year we did this. Uh, I've been doing it for the past two years and this is gonna make my third. I like doing it. It makes me happy when I'm giving back. Uh, this is something that I'm definitely gonna pass on to Avi. She's gonna know about while growing up. Uh, T's actually, we thinking about we're doing something like this in November that we wanna try to do this as well. We headed downtown right now and unfortunately I can't I can't film on the inside. They don't let you film on the inside, but I'll show y'all how it look on the outside. It's pretty big, looks like a football field. It's huge, but I'm gonna show y'all how it look. And then after that, I'm gonna get on the inside and we're gonna do a little moving around downtown Chicago. I'm gonna hit up some of these spots because I'm looking for like some fits for my birthday, which is coming up. Um, I'm gonna be looking for that soon. So we're gonna explore downtown Chicago. So with that being said, I'm gonna catch up with y'all in just a few seconds, man. I'm out of this jam.